Hi, and welcome to the channel. My name is Drew. This is Just a Guy Linux, and this is Awesome WM. And yes, it is in the Debian packages. Um, and you could make a case that it's kind of a hybrid window manager because you can use it as a floating window manager as well as a tiling window manager. So that's why we're going to look at it today. Now, granted, I have looked at Awesome WM in the past. I have never successfully gotten to where it can work for me because I just thought it was really challenging, the configuration file. So, but we're going to give it a much more dedicated shot this time around. Why Awesome WM? I don't know. Other than the fact that when I was talking to Brody Robertson on his show a couple weeks ago, I asked him, I said, if you weren't using Hyperland or anything Wayland related, what would you be using? Is like, I'd go back to Awesome WM. And I'm like, hmm, well, both, let me try that again, because I haven't given it a shot, like I said, in quite some time. Now, when I look at Awesome WM 4.3, right on their website, and I go to the Debian packages, and I see Awesome is on 4.3 as well, and including the testing branch. Um, I'm going to make sure that it's installed, and I'm also going to install these additional modules, even though I don't have any idea how to use them yet. So let's get started. And I'm just going to hit enter here. So sudo apt install awesome and awesome extra. And so we're going to log out and and we're going to log in. Okay, and there you go. Now, right out of the box, this is a very usable window manager. Uh, I don't know if this is default. Right now, it's on floating. I did click a couple things before I started recording this particular segment. Um, however, if I left click, it goes to tile mode. And then I keep going, I can cycle through. But if I right click, it actually goes backwards too. So I went from uh, left click tile to, and then now if I right click, it should go back to floating and it does. So that's really cool. And you can try to cycle through as many as you want here. Um, also, as far as a menu built in, and if I click on this, it's going to allow me to pick whatever application is currently installed, which is great. I'm going to hit escape right now. Same thing. If I right click anywhere in uh, the open space on the desktop, I can pick a uh, application to select. Now, this isn't the only way you can do this. If I hit super R up here, there's a run command. And if I say Thunar, it will open up Thunar. Also, if you want to close, by default right now, it's Super Shift C. So that closes the, uh, the window. How did I know that Super Shift C was going to close the window? Other than the fact it's very common for window managers, if I use the keybind Super S, it gives me basically a cheat sheet as to what the key bindings are for Awesome WM. And if you do things correctly in the configuration file, it will, it will change to match those changes. So that's amazing. All right, so like here, super, oh, I guess if I click on that, it's gone. Anyway, Super Shift C was the, uh, was the close uh, window. What I also learned was Super Enter would open up a terminal. Okay, and this just happens to be Terminator. So I'm kind of fortunate that Terminator is uh, default because you might get something like, I don't know, something small and really hard to use right out of the box. But anyway, so I'm using Terminator and the very first thing I want to do is move um, the configuration files over into the user directory. So, in order to do that, I'm going to go into the .config and make dir awesome. Okay? Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's copy um, the etsy xdg awesome rc lua 
into that dot config uh, awesome directory. Okay. And let's also copy the uh, user share awesome themes, themes, there we go, default theme Lua. And we're going to put that also in the uh, dot config awesome. Great. Now that I've closed the terminal, I'm going to open up Genie. Okay, and so how am I going to do that? I'm just going to go over here and hit development and open up Genie. All right. Now I'll go over here to dot config awesome and open up the rc.lua. I'm just going to kind of peruse this as we go down. And a lot of this, like I've said a million times, I am not a developer. I am just a guy. However, there are certain things that kind of stick out and this one in particular. So X terminal emulator. If I just change this to Tilex, I should be OK. All right. Mod four is right. All of these layouts may not be ideal. So we may want to pare this down slightly. OK, but I'm going to leave it for now. And I'm just kind of, like I said, I'm just kind of going down. OK, the number of uh, screen, uh, tags, they call them tags, OK. This looks like the bar. OK. OK, OK, super S is, shows the uh, help. Swapping, OK. Quit and restart. So I don't understand why they would do this, honestly. So I'm going to use shift here. Hopefully there's not another shift. But super shift R to restart, awesome. At least the, the I, I'm going to need to use uh, control the first time I do it. Um, but where's the quit? Oh, right here. All right, so Super Shift C. Now let's go ahead and change that. Is there a, do I need a, I'm just gonna change this to Q. And mod key, and I don't need anything else besides that. I think that's all I have to do. So I'm gonna just go ahead and save this. And now if I hit um, Control, Super R. OK, so the next time I open something, I should be able to use Super Q. So let me try that real quick. I'm going to go to a different uh, workspace or tag. I'm going to open up. And that is Tilex. So that Super Enter uh, did change. And now if I hit Super Q, it closes the application. So OK, we're running. We're, we're doing the right thing so far. Now, curiosity, but I want to go over to tag two and uh, see if the changes are reflected in that help menu. So I'm going to go Super S and Super Q is now closed. So that's pretty excellent, right? I mean, when it comes right down to it, if you have the right type of configuration uh, and you don't mess with it too badly, this, uh, this cheat sheet basically really is useful. Not to nitpick, but let's shift super R, reload awesome, shift super Q, quit awesome. Makes a lot more sense than incorporating the uh, control super R to reload awesome. So I'm just saying, all right, just saying. Now I want to do something to the configuration now. So I'm going to go back over to uh, Genie. And I've added this, these two lines. And I have not added a auto run.sh, but we will in a second, okay? But I also, while I'm here, I want to remove um, everything that you see here and delete. And let's put in that um, so that there are two double quotes. And the location of this theme.lua is going to be dot conf dot config dot awesome. Sorry, dot awesome. 
dot config awesome theme Lua, just as you see it on the screen. Don't listen to me, look at this, <laughs> okay? And then, like I said, we're, we're, we're gonna use an auto run.sh. And so I'm gonna go ahead and save. Um, now, now I did create an auto run.sh. So I, I'm gonna go over here to the terminal and we're going to edit auto run.sh. Now we are going to remove a couple of these uh, comments so that both PyCom and Faye. Now, with regard to the background, I think it's gonna be controlled by the theme.lua file, or we can comment it out. So let's see how this reacts. That's what I'm curious. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and Let's quit and make sure chmod plus x um, auto run dot sh. Okay. Now let's go back over here. And actually, we don't even need to, right? So let's do this. We're going to go super shift r. And that did not look right. So let me go back. Ooh. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to, and then just kind of restart awesome something yeah so it showed for a second but the theme is taking control okay now what does that mean so I'm gonna go back over here to genie okay and awesome config awesome and then uh, theme dot Lua okay now where would that be? Right here, in fact. Okay, so this is the one thing that is um, that is keeping the background from being correct. So we have a choice. So probably the smart thing to do would be to actually remove it from the auto run and simply put it in um, in the theme. So let's just do that. I'm going to go over here. And all I need is this. Copy that. Let's go ahead and comment this out again. And we're going to put this here. And we don't need this theme path at all. So let's go and remove that and save it. Okay, and actually we can Save this as well. And now when I super shift R and I go to a different workspace, there it is. So I don't, I don't need it actually in the auto run. I can put it in the theme and it will work great. Now, while we are looking at this theme.lua file, I want to, I want to take a look at what we can kind of change gaps and borders and so on. Now this is interesting to me because let's say I'm currently in this floating mode on this particular tag. See up here in the corner, it shows floating. So I'm gonna oh, go and into the second tag and I have tile. So not necessarily does it have to like maintain over each tag the same, um, the, the same layout. So if I open up two terminals, for example, okay, they're side by side and they are tiled. But we, what we need to do for the most part is um, change it so that it makes it look a whole lot better. All right, so let's go back over to Genie. Now I'm going to go ahead and paste something in. Uh, be prepared to pause if you need to. But again, I will probably have everything uh, in my dot files prior to uh, this video going live. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going up here and I'm going to paste. Okay. And so you'll see that I did change it to a nerd font and the size is 12 as opposed to 9. I changed quite a bit of the colors. I'm going to change here also. So uh, let's make this eight. Let's make this four. Okay. And I want to change the border colors. So let's do that. Let's, let's change the border colors. I'm going to put some different colors in. Um, 
I definitely want to change the width here or and the height. So let's change this to 18. And I'm not sure I need this, but I'm going to change this to 200 for right now. And let's save that. OK, now I am going to go super shift R. And there you have it. It, it made it quite a bit bigger. OK, and maybe this is not everyone's cup of tea, tea as far as color is concerned. And maybe it's not even my cup of tea. I am just trying to like do something to uh, make things much different just for demonstration. Now, speaking of demonstration, we did change the uh, gaps and the border size here. So let's see. Let's go to a different workspace and uh, open up a terminal. And yes, it has um, it has gaps and it has um, a border of four pixels. So if I open up something else, pretty nice. OK, so yeah, I mean, this works. So I, I kind of like this so far. I do think it has some uh, a little ways to go as far as usability is concerned. You know, we need to edit the bar. We need to, I think, as far as um, the layout of the tags, I would want more space in between the tags, uh, just from a visual perspective. I'm not sure I would like um, this menu. I think I would rather have a keybind rather than this menu. So there's quite a few things that I would like to change for me. Now, that would be probably another video. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is uh, stop because this is uh, a use, like I've said before, this is a usable um, window manager almost out of the box. And we've only made a few changes here. But as far as I'm concerned, a, another video on Awesome WM is awesome. So uh, until next time, talk to you soon.